Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Lasham Daily Briefing for Saturday, the 7th of September, 2024. So if we start off then with the synoptic chart. So this was uh, as of midnight last night. There's quite an active cold front uh, slowly moving its way north uh, and actually ends up being an occlusion a little bit later. But more concern, I think, to us at the moment are probably... Um, the trough lines associated with this uh, other frontal system over Central Europe, which is slowly going to be making its way north and may be a factor a bit later on today. So if I run this through to midday today, you see this uh, this front is a weakening affair now. Uh, there is cloud on it. It's not a lot of rain on it now at all. However, um, this low pressure in Central Europe is now sort of uh, getting uh, getting its act together, getting a bit uh, more active. Uh, and these little trough lines ahead of it may are still going to be a possible issue, but maybe further to the southwest uh, rather than uh, where we are now. Uh, if I run that through to midnight tonight, that looks absolutely dire, uh, to be fair. Uh, midday tomorrow, we shall have a big L plastered in the sky above us. So we're right in the centre of the low pressure. So we'll have to see what tomorrow's going to bring a little bit uh, later. Spot winds today, uh, they are going to be very light, actually, anywhere between about uh, northeastly and easterly. Uh, the further south you go, the more east there is to the wind. Uh, and here's the cloud that's sort of associated uh, with the, the frontal system that's moving away to the north now. And uh, the approaching cloud associated with the trough lines to the south. Uh, you can't see it on this particular uh, uh, vision here, but there are actually thunderstorms in, in amongst that uh, down out over the channel at the moment, but they're a bit more obvious when I uh, flash up the rain radar. So this is the low centered over Central Europe, uh, slowly making its way north. There's almost zero rain now on that uh, front that's disappearing slowly and weakening as you go to the north. And the only issue we may have possibly is uh, any showers that are associated with them trough lines uh, down the bottom, uh, giving us any uh, issues. Of course, at the moment, we've got no wind out there, so not lots going to be happening. But as the wind does pick up, it may bring in a couple of little showers. I think we're going to be OK here, to be fair. <clears throat> the Met forecast then for rain, uh, all that stuff you can see out in the channel now. There's nothing to the north that's disappeared. Uh, and if I run through 10, 11, uh, 12. And now here's here's the first sort of trough line. Uh, and I think this is going to miss us. That's going to shoot off towards Yeovil and Wales and uh, keep them nice and wet. Um, so I think we're going to be lucky to be clear here all day. Now, and they're talking about a possible uh, shower maybe around about six o'clock this evening when the party starts and the uh, and the air display starts. But I think we might just actually get away with it. OK, local forecast is indicating overcast all day. Uh, mist first thing. We've got that outside clearly. Uh, mist first thing and a uh, very low chance of rain here throughout the day. Max temperature of 18, feels like 18, and we've got a steady easterly wind uh, throughout the day. OK, uh, GFS is giving us a max temperature today about 22 degrees, and the dew point actually down at 14. And this is a view outside the window an hour ago, if I refresh that now. There you go. Anyone notice a difference? Oh, yeah, we can see a bit around now. Uh, so that's a view outside the window. Clearly, we've got this mist to wait uh, to go before we'll be able to actually get some decent flying done. Uh, so Lasham Met Office is indicating about 14 degrees at the moment, dew point down at 12, um, no rain throughout the day, and a, and a very, very light uh, wind. Okay, Odium is giving as uh, one knot from the north, uh, fog. And they don't do a tap at the weekend. So if we pop over to Farnborough, they're giving us uh, two knots variable uh, fog initially and then a little bit later on between 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock this morning, uh, visibility increasing to 10k or more and a few clouds at 4,500. And that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm going to be basing our flying on today. Uh, top meteo, uh, no chance cross country today. And this is the significant weather. So this is at 6 o'clock this evening. Uh, if I run that through, uh, coming a bit earlier though, uh, you can see we've got uh, overcast, lowish cloud, um, all the rains to the north or to the south, and we're going to be clear. And it's saying that we're going to be clear around about say, 11 o'clock, and we should be good for the rest of the day. It's not even indicating anything overly uh, 
uh, disasters for this evening's air display. Sky sight, uh, I put this screen on so we can see the projected rain possibly. Uh, so if I run this through, you see this rain coming through with that uh, first trough line. Um, this one's indicating we might just clip the end of it. I think the bulk of it is going to be down to the southwest and will probably miss us. And if I run that through until six o'clock this evening when the air display is supposed to be due, it should be absolutely fine. Uh, local um, point forecast then for sky sites, a lot of uh, medium cloud, upper cloud, lower cloud. Uh, possible strata queue and a bit of rain this indicates there maybe between 2.30 and 3.30 uh, no thermals really to of any effect um, no cloud to sit I think and wind four knots down about 1.30 uh, something like that and no gusts uh, of any significance no tams I'll quickly go through this uh, good word I've got parachuting and uh, air display on there so there's an early one from six till eight for aircraft going in one at five till six aircraft going out and uh, a display in the middle of the day there 27 is the usual uh, Rushmore actually it's not Ash Rangers and 26 is Barton Stacey so uh, right then, what have we got today then? So uh, here's a cross section. Uh, there's a fog and it's, it's saying it's clear between about nine o'clock and 10 o'clock. Uh, and then it's going to be a very, very pleasant uh, rest of the day. Uh, upper cloud up at about 5,000 and then further cloud well above that. That's going to keep stop the heat coming down to the ground, but it's not going to stop us flying. And so I think actually after about 10.30, it should be very, very pleasant actually here. Uh, wind 0905 knots uh, throughout the day. OK, there's no planned movements. The mist is clearing between 10 and 11, locally flyable afterwards. Upper cloud around 5,000 foot. Light, five knot easterly winds will set up on 09 dry operation. I have driven over the airfield already for this morning and it does actually seem uh, to be fine. Uh, we have the, the party and air display this evening. So uh, we need to see flying a bit earlier, have all the kit and hangar by 5.30. There'll be no evening group tonight. They know about that. Uh, but because of that, some of them might be out a little bit earlier today to try and get some flying in. Um, so we need to all packed up by 5.30 to allow the airfield to be prepped for this evening's display and party. Uh, so 5 K-21s and 3 K-13s available all day. Uh, two K-21s are on the booking system with Bob and Sushil. Uh, Jordan Bridge has got one K-13 booked all day for bronze checks. Uh, Terry Dunford is going to fly the trial lessons in the K-21. And he might need a hand at uh, three o'clock today. There is a four o'clock book, but we're worried about it running a bit late into the, uh, the embargo period. So uh, he might just need someone to fly someone for him around about three o'clock because we're going to bring the four o'clock guy in early. Uh, K21 on instructor training with Anne Knight in the morning and Simon this afternoon uh, for some aerobatics. So that's going to need to be 775 or 776. Uh, Neil's got uh, duo booked all day on compass flying. I don't think they're going to get much in, I'm afraid. Neil, sorry about that. SH3 and SH4 are booked all day. SH6, 7 and 8 are booked at various parts of the day. Now, a little word of warning. A lot of people come up to me at 1 o'clock saying, right, I've got K21 or Astir or a Discus booked this afternoon. Fine, it's in the hangar. Go and get it out. Uh, they don't make themselves out of the way to the launch point. So if you've got something booked in the afternoon and it isn't booked in the morning, you might want to get here a little bit earlier to get it out of the hangar. Um, all the many K13s and K21s are available for the casual list. And Dave Williams has kindly offered to uh, help out on the casual list. Uh, overall reminder about the buggies, please. Seats only, not on the back because they're not insured otherwise. And the simulator is available all day. Anyone going to our Boyne, by the way, we've set up a quick link to our Boyne in a wave situation. Uh, so you might want to, if you haven't been to our Boyne, uh, speak to Ron or myself or someone that knows the simulator, Dave Williams, and we can set it up on our Boyne so you can at least see our Boyne from the air and get a uh, a good view of the local scenery uh, around there. Okay, the um, booking list, uh, Bob, uh, Jordan and Sushil with their respective students. Um, SH3 and 4 booked all day, Patrick and Chris. Uh, and the other gliders, like here's a good example, Alex has got SH6 booked this afternoon. Well, guess what, Alex? He ain't going to make his way out the hangar, so make sure you get here in time to get it out. Uh, and the casualist down the bottom uh, is fairly 
uh, full. A lot of it, friends and family. Now, you guys are down flying friends and family, so I'm talking specifically about Clement and George. You're going to need to get here and get your gliders out. It could be a K21 or a K13, I don't really care, but it ain't going to be out of the launch point for you. You're going to have to get it out. So operationally, then we'll set up, we'll get the launch point vehicle out as soon as we can on 09. I know it's misty, but it doesn't stop us preparing it. I'll suggest you get the gliders DI'd and ready, uh, uh, even out to the launch point if you want, because uh, this is going to be a shorter window today. So it'll be really useful to make the most of it. We're going to be on runway 09, the usual area to the north, um, winch to the south. Um, Red Cross is here. Just a reminder, please do not cross over the disused runway on the ground in the gliders. Um, there's lots of sharp flints there. Uh, and if you're on the ground rolling over that, you'll easily rip up and tear up a K21 main wheel. So instructors, if it looks like your student's going to be in a position where they would roll over these on the ground, please take control and address the situation. Uh, OK, right then. So I will um, be at the launch point almost straight away. Uh, Ron's around to help as well. And uh, let's get to the hangar, get the kit out and I'll see you out there shortly. Bye.